Mr. Jaffe, how old are you today? 100 years and two or three months. You come to these uh, uh, events, you're a Jewish war veteran from which war? I'm a Jewish veteran of World War II. Where did you serve? Uh, on my discharge it says Panama, Guatemala, Galapagos Islands, Virginia, invasion into France over the beach, Battle of the Bulge, and a lot of miscellaneous others in the, on the ATO, European Theater of Operations. What's it like to get together with other veterans in events like this? Uh, uh, it's a great change of pace at the elder age. Uh, the wor my world is very small and it's good to get out of the house. I need help all the time. And here's my helper who does a wonderful job for me. What's your name? Cesar, Cesar Castillo. From which country? Uh, Philippines. Uh -huh. uh, in the Pacific, so you were in the Galapagos Islands, you say? Galapagos Islands, yeah. We were, had airfields there. And it was part of the defense of the Panama Canal. This is way back in 1942, 43. On Memorial Day, what, what, what kind of things uh, do you, are you feeling? Well, usually in this meeting, uh, they were all uh, veterans of various wars. And it just so happened I sat with a bunch of uh, uh, ex-flyers. And I was curious if they flew off some of the airfields we built. And much to my pleasant surprise, one of the fellows there was a lieutenant colonel in the squadron is at Bury St. Edmunds in Europe. We were building the airfields there to prepare for uh, well, the invasion of, of Europe. So it was nice to talk about uh, the headaches. And it sounds like a picnic when we talk about it, but it really is not a picnic. It's a very serious and, in my opinion, war is just a waste of everything. Well, looking back on it now, do you suppose that America gives enough uh, respect to our war veterans? I think so in general, as far as by personal, people are very kind and understanding. I have a lot of fun. I have, need help and I have a little horn on my... <laughs> <laughs> so I avoid crowds because I have balances on my main problem. Uh, well, with Caesar here, with the American victory in the Pacific, helping to save the Philippines from the Jap yeah. Japanese, Yeah. Are the Americans respected in the Philippines? Yeah, of course. They are, they are, the Filipinos respect the Americans. Where do you reside these days? Uh, I live in a house that I helped construct in North Hollywood. You still li live in your own home? I live in there. My wife has gone nine years ago, and uh, it's, I miss her. But that, every man can say that. Not my wife, but their wives, <laughs> respectively. <laughs> Jewish war veterans, do you go to any of the meetings? Say again, please. Do you go to any of the meetings of the Jewish war veterans? Yes, I try to go to every meeting. It's a post 603 meets on a one Sunday a month at the Veterans Administration in Sepulveda, California. And uh, it's, it's nice to get with these people. We, I find out you share some of these positive and negative things together. What sort of negative things? Good to vocalize and find that other people have the equivalent. I'm not alone. Short-term memory? I, I would say I have a good long-term memory in my own case. I can remember a lot about being a kid and all that. And it, it's the usual story. My pop and mom came from the old country. And when uh, I was born in St. Louis, Missouri, and the, uh, the Honey Horizon in those days, get a high school education, get married, have children. The military service, in my case at least, was good because it gave me a direction, gave me opportunity, it opened doors. You could stand on your own feet and, and decisions. And I can tell the usual quota of war stories. Some are funny, some are sad. Was there anti-Semitism when you served in the, in the uh, army? In my case, there was, but I started as a recruit and ended up as a colonel. 
the anti-Semitism at that higher rank was there, but much more subtle. You could tell it uh, sometimes, sometimes, not always, by the assignments where you're given. Personally, I took anything as a challenge and did the best I can, and I found it was a good way to get publicity. Take on, for example, in addition to battling, I was a voting officer. I had, wanted to make sure that every one of my soldiers uh, voted, no matter where they came from. That is an addition to the duties. I was mess officer. My lesson I learned there is leave the mess. The mess sergeant knows more about it than you do. Sign all the requisitions. <laughs> That's a kind of a semi-sad problem. Uh, you learned stand on your own two feet, have your own opinion, you worked with people who were very cooperative. You worked with other people who were just plain old son of a bitches. Right bad on that. And you had to learn to get on. It's a good school to grow up in. Going back to the essence of your question, I think a certain period, let's say every able person between after they, most of them graduate high school, go from six months to 12 months either in a military situation or a civilian situation, helping some of the agents take care of the older, weak, and the like. Just that experience, I think, is as important as getting a certificate of graduation.